Hello, Virgo, and welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. So, Virgo, yeah, I thought I'd sit by the windows today because it's a gorgeous day outside. Um, it's a bit too hot for me outside, but I'm good here, right? Um, anyway, Virgo, I'm here to check into your June, right? Let's do a sneak peek on June and see what's going on around you. Um, this reading is for the collective, so, you know, it may not resonate with all of you, right? Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind, you know, don't try to force it, right? And thank you so much, all of you, um, for real. Thank you for the likes, the subscribes, comments. Um, all of a sudden, I'm feeling really tired for your reading, Virgo. What, are you like waking up from a nap or something? Or maybe you're just chilling today, you know? Anyway, Divine, what do you have for Virgo? Messages for Virgo? Oh, somebody is watching an empress, just watching and wishing, wishing and yeah, wishing and watching. That's all that they're doing, really. And being in love, yeah, knowing they're in love. I feel like somebody, that's all that they're really doing. They're standing here wishing, you know, pining over this empress. Um, Yeah, you could be dealing with the water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, maybe an Aquarius, possibly a Sagittarius, Taurus. This could be somebody who lives a distance from you as well. Um, they may be thinking about traveling your way. Uh, yeah, they're remembering a time when they were very immature, okay? They're thinking back on a time. Oh, man, they were bad. Oh, they, oh, they were bad. Okay, so here's the thing. I've got another little side piece here. Side, yeah, a side piece as I say that. Um, they chose somebody over this empress, and they got betrayed. Here's the thing. This is what this person is thinking about, right? They're doing nothing but watching you. I feel like this person um, thought that, um, I don't know, they highly underestimated you. You ended up being an empress, somebody who's very um, mature, right? Independent, successful, uh, abundant. You could be a boss, business owner, entrepreneur, um, living a comfortable life right now. Uh, looking forward to your future. I feel like um, you're in your north node and you're very happy um, and they're just watching you become this empress. All right. Um, but here's the thing. They're thinking back on how poorly they treated you. This person manipulated you. They used every tool that they had right to come in. They weren't looking for a, they weren't in it for a long time. They were looking at looking for a good time. That's I feel like with the Page of Wands, that's all that they did. They flirted with you. They played little games with you. They weren't ready at all to settle down with anyone or get serious with an empress. Okay? Um, yeah, this person, uh, they betrayed you. They backstabbed you. There could have been lies about you. Um, there, somebody could have sabotaged this connection. They could have believed them, cut you out cold, said some nasty things, projected everything back onto you. I feel like you took the blame. You were thrown to the wolves. I feel like you were uh, put in possibly a third party situation, toyed with, manipulated. And then what this person did was sat back and wanted you to chase after them. An empress. An empress doesn't chase. No, no. No, you, which you didn't. I feel like this person is still maybe hoping that you'll chase them. Um, they're getting very emotional. They're realizing through all of this, this has taken a great deal of time. Okay, a lot of time has passed. Um, could be two years, maybe three. And yet you still haven't budged. You're not going to either. You're sitting very comfortably in this Empress throne. You don't, uh-uh, you're not going to chase. And I feel like that's what they wanted. You could have really fed this person's ego. Like when you were with them, I feel like you made them feel so good. But it, it, they all, they started being, they were, um, 
right out the gate, they were already arrogant. Out the gate, they were already in their ego. Okay, that's what I'm trying to say. To do all of this to you, put you in a game, possibly even a competition here, treated you like an option, kept their back turned, they were nasty about it too when they cut you out it was very quick and they were rude and insulting i feel like they put it all back on you okay they put it all back on you and then they sat back with a little smirk on their face thinking oh uh virgo will chase me this empress is going to chase me everybody else does no that didn't happen and I feel like in between this time of no communication, this person chose someone else. And I feel like um, that person betrayed them. Okay? I feel like this is somebody else's energy. Uh, another third party, an option. They had, they had lots of others that would chase after this person. Like They thought that they were great. Now look at them. Now they're like a blubbering mess on the inside, trying to hide how they feel about you, nonstop thinking about you. Uh, I, this is a longing kind of energy, okay? Waiting perhaps for you to make that first move, which is not going to happen. That's not going to happen. So, yeah, I feel like they're watching and waiting, right? Um, yeah, I'm here and hoping and wishing and praying. Yeah, see? And not, you know what? They know. They know that you're not going to reach out to them. <laughs> yeah, you're not going to reach out to them. As a matter of fact, in order to get an empress, they have to walk away from all of these other options that they've had in the past and come and make you a legit offer. They have to take the first step here. That's what this is. They have to make the first move. Okay, and they're pouting over it right now because they, here's the thing, they know they're missing out on a blessing. We're talking about an empress here. It would take this person four queens to get one of you. You're every queen in the deck. They're not going to find another empress that easily, okay? And they know they're missing out on a blessing. They know they're supposed to make the first move. They know they're supposed to um, uh, come with the first communication because they're the ones who wronged you horribly, horribly. In order to change this, they have to take the first step. They have to make the first move. And they don't want to do that. They're sitting here pouting. Um, not only because, you know, they need to make right all that they did wrong to you, period, right? Um, they're, the divine is telling them, you have to go and apologize. That's what this cup is. You have to go and apologize. Get moving. You're going to have to say goodbye to all the other options, you know, and you're going to have to come and talk to this empress if you want to change this around. You know, but they're pow they're pouty, they're butt hurt, they're because uh, you didn't play their game. Not only do they have to walk away from everyone, but you know what? They didn't win in their little game. You you know what? Mm -mm. You're not gonna budge. The Empress doesn't chase. They lost their little game that they played. You're in fact not gonna feed their ego. But, you know, yeah, if they want to hang on to this connection, they have to be strong. They have to stop procrastinating. They have to stop waiting for a sign from you. The Empress isn't going to give them a sign. You're not going to chase. You're not going to play into that game, period. Period. As a matter of fact, you've been working on yourself, learning every queen in the deck, and becoming uber abundant. So yeah, um, this person's going to have to get out of stuck mode and do what they're supposed to be doing. If they want this connection and they can't stop focusing on you and they're in love with you they're, and then they, they wronged you like this, they're going to have to make the first move. Yep, yes they are. Emperor energy. They're going to have to boss up. You, you require an emperor. <laughs> That's easy. 
they're going to have to boss up. They're going to have to be strong enough to come in and do the right thing by this empress. Because the empress is not going to budge. All right? Yeah. Um, so what action is this person going to take? You know, I, I see them, you know, being told they need to make this offer, but I don't see them moving on it yet. I see them still sitting here like I don't want to do it, right? Pouting and being a little snot about it. I don't want to do it, right? Procrastinating on it. Yeah, no, they need, they can't, they have to approach the empress as an emperor. They've got to show some kind of strength. They, they can't stop thinking about you. The divine knows that they want to reunite to build something solid here. So if they don't get moving, if they don't give you the apology the divine wants, you, wants them to give you, right, which is right here. That's that cup. That's the apology. Okay. If they don't do this, boom, tower moment. The divine is going to bring things down for this person. All comfort, stability, everything's going to go. They're going to level this. They're going to make them come in and do the right thing. No more acting like a high school kid or a little kid who didn't get his way. That's what this person is acting like. And the divine is like, you're, you're, you're a grown adult. It's time for you to stand up here. You know? <laughs> if you want to... And here's the thing. The tower comes down and then something solid gets built, right? They have to break free from some kind of comfort zone. And that's what the divine is breaking them free from. They were so sure, though, that you would play their game. They were so sure that you would chase after them, Virgo. And you're just not going to do that. So if they don't get moving, the divine is going to make them move, okay? They're going to make them do this. They'll have to rebuild because the divine is going to bring down this tower. It's going to make this person boss up. Okay, they're hanging around in a comfort zone. Yep, and it's coming soon. It's coming soon, and they know, they know it's about to hit. I'm telling you, they know that that tower moment's going to be crumbling down, and they're going to have to confront this. Oh, they know. I don't know what's going to happen in this person's life. They could lose a job. They could lose a home. They could lose all of their stability, okay? They could lose um, uh, any kind of side um, relationships they had, right? Or any really other relationship, whatever. A home situation, it's coming down. And they're going to have to rebuild. They're going to, and I feel like this person wants to rebuild with you, and that's going to make them want to communicate, okay? They don't want to apologize. They don't. And the divine is making them do that. You do right by this empress. It's that, it's the color purple. Yeah, this is Seely, and this is Mister. Everything you think of is going to fail until you do right by me. Doesn't she say something like that in that movie? Um, it's it's the movie The Color Purple, and that's what's going to happen. Everything you even think about is going to fail until you do right by this empress. Period. Done. And this person knows it. They know it. They're freaking out about it. They're having nightmares about it. The divine could be uh, sending them visions, dreams, right, of what their future is actually going to look like. They're stressed out about coming towards you to apologize because this person's been, they've been doing this to other people for so long. They don't know how to apologize. Okay? They don't want to do it. Yep. Everything they do is, everything they think of is going to fail until they do right by this empress. All right, and they know that. They know. Look at how burdened they are. Oh, boy. They know. <laughs> and they're thinking about all the things, all the different ways that they betrayed you. The things that they said, those harsh, nasty little insults 
the way they put everything back on you, the way you were thrown to the wolves, right? That's how they're feeling right now. They're feeling that now. It's about to happen. Yep. The only way to bust out of it is to give you an apology. I kid you not. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. There we are. They see you as the one, and if they want another chance, they're going to have to come towards you with this apology. Grab a hold of this cup here. Like they're shoving it in their face, you're going to have to apologize. You are. You. For everything you've done. So they grab a hold of that cup. Now it's got a fish in it. You could be dealing with the Pisces, um, but a lot of times when we see this fish, it means it's a fake apology. Like this is somebody who's going to, they may be sarcastic about it. I'm sorry. You know, something like that, because they don't want to do it. But tough. <laughs> the divine is making them do it. Okay. So, yeah, I feel like in June, this person's going to approach you. They may have a nasty little attitude about it, but um, it's because, and listen to the siren, right? Yeah, it's going to come in fast in June, and I feel like um, they're going to hate doing it, but it's something that they have to do. It's something they have to do, Virgo. Um, let's get your advice, okay? What advice do you have for Virgo in June? Hmm. Yeah, I feel like this person threw you to the wolves here, and they know it. Yep, they orphaned you. They threw you to the wolves, right? That's this community. And I feel like you've been in isolation, ever since this happened to you okay you've been patient you've been you've been flexible like you allow this person to make their own decisions yet yeah, listen to that siren man they don't like they don't like what's coming i'm telling you they don't like the fact that um they're gonna have to do this okay um but yeah i feel like you've been patient and flexible enough with this person um, I've, you've been thrown to the wolves here. The community has ripped you apart and, uh, and probably damaged your reputation, said everything that, everything under the sun that they could possibly say. You've been in isolation here, right? Spending a lot of time at home, feeling alone, orphaned. The divine is saying, it's time to start something new. It's time to start living again. It's time to get your fire back. Get your groove back. Get out there. Don't be patient for this person anymore. You know, they already don't deserve your patience. They were playing a game with you. It's time to start living again. Um, think of all the things that you can build in your new future. You're going to start getting a lot of new ideas. And the divine is like, you know what? You just come with us. You were never or truly orphaned. Okay, they've always been with you. I feel like you've been with them. You've been, they've been leading you, guiding you here. Just keep moving forward because I'm telling you, in June, there's about to be a message from this person. But, you know, don't, um, I feel like they're saying don't, don't be all up in your head about this person anymore. You focus on you and new beginnings and moving forward. Okay, yep, they'll be in because the divine is like, I feel like that's, that's what's so sure about this reading. Like, don't even, don't even worry about it. There's a message coming. There, they'll be in. You just focus on you. You can, you focus on you, right? I, it, yeah, because it's like with the tower, they know, um, look, once we bring down the tower moment, this person's going to come in and do the right thing. So don't fret over it. Okay. Anyway, Virgo, that's what I've got for your June reading. I do hope this helps. I hope it resonates with you. Like and subscribe to this channel if you like this vibe, right? And until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.